morning, everybody, and happy. What day is it? Hump day. Hump day, Wednesday. 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 And you. Two links. Do you want to win one? <sighs> do I want to win one? Yes, not please. Yet, not uh, can I not enter? No, I told George yesterday she can't enter. Oh, no. Anybody out there a Bugaboo fan? Did you know that we have got the brand new Bugaboo links in store? Mm -hmm. If you've joined us on our lives already, you, you've probably already seen this if you're a regular. Yes, we did a comparison with the Fox 2 because it's the smaller brother of the Fox 2. So, and we've got lots of people joining us this morning. Georgia Prosser, you were first. <coughs> Quickest fingers first. Obviously, there and waiting for us. So, good morning to you and Lucy Walton, Claire Henson, Gemma Butler, Charlotte Nez. Um, she starts work at 12. Okay, we'll go quickly, Charlotte. <laughs> just for you. Just for you, Charlotte. Just be a bit late. Just Claire bit Louise time. Baker says, such an amazing prize. It is. It is looking, an awesome prize. And Gemma Stanley, how are you ladies today? We're good. Good, thank you. Yeah, we're really, really good. So today we are going to go through um, the brand new to market Bugaboo links. We've got three out today to show you. We're going yes. a bit, bit all black today, aren't we? Yeah, we, we? haven't we? Yeah, but we've got a bit of grey down there. A bit of grey down there, but yeah. we're going to look. Links hasn't been out very long, has no. it? So where does the Lynx fit in the Bugaboo family? So it's in addition to their all terrain push chair market. So they've already got the Chameleon and the Fox 2 in there, but now they have got the Lynx as well. So it's a smaller brother to the Fox 2. Uh, Fox 2 weighs 9.9 .9 kilos, whereas this is 9.4 kilos. So they've taken some weight off it. Some of the features are slightly different, but it's very much similar, but just a, a small, smaller pared down version. Yep, so a few people have joined us. Good morning to you. If you've hit share, thank you very much because sharing is caring. Is. To join in with us today and to be in with the chance to win shortly a Bugaboo links, <clears throat> all you need to do is ask us lots and lots of questions and pass comment um, and we will draw the winner live at the end. Now we are going to offer you a choice of colour and we'll run through the colour shortly, but if you haven't seen the links, it's definitely, definitely worth um, having a look at. It's been very yeah. popular in store since we yeah. opened the doors uh, 10 days ago. Lots of families that it will fit in with, isn't that? Yeah, so. it's just a really, I'd just say it's a really versatile pushchair and it's going to it's suit, like I'd say the majority of people's, yeah. what we would class as normal family life. Normal. Normal, yeah, normal. So great in the city, great yep. in the towns, but if you're going off to the park, um, you know, going for a walk at your local National Trust property and things it's like gonna that. It's going to handle all that as well, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's going to work really well. So shall we start with the carry cot? Yes, let's do that. So, um, good size carry cot, great length. It's the same length as the Fox 2. It's just slightly um, less deep, I was going to say. Shallower. shallower. Shallower is the word. Slightly shallower. Slightly. 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 It's, it's the same word. So when you buy um, a Lynx, you get your chassis, you get your seat frame, and you get your carry cot fabrics, and you get your seat fabrics, and then you just need to swap them over when baby reaches six months old. So, so it's, it's one frame, two fabrics. Yeah, exactly. Um, your hood is the same as the Fox. Um, so it's a really good sized hood and it also has the extension as well. Inside your carry cot is now a nice... Now this is luscious, isn't it? Is what? Lush. I thought you said luscious. I did say luscious, but you weren't supposed <laughs> you to were, notice. You didn't want me to pick luscious. up on that, did you? I made it's the word up, word. okay? Like it's it. a new word just to describe the carry cot mattress, luscious. Very nice. Uh, three part mattress. So you've got a charcoal bamboo fabric over the top, which helps. Oh, so soft. It is a little bit soft. It helps the, any moisture from baby go through into the mattress, but then um, keeps them nice and dry on top. You've got an aerated layer, which again helps the airflow of the mattress, but also lets all the, the stuff go it into just... that, tracks it inside, all the bacteria and everything. And then you've got your waterproof um, mattress as well. So this can all be washed at 30 degrees, but Bugaboo do recommend that you wash this layer because it is where everything's going to get trapped at 60. Interesting fact. And a lot of customers, when they come into store, they like to squeeze that bit. Because mm. not all mattresses are the same. And no. I have to say... It's, it's just one bit, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it, it is a really, really good quality system on this. Mm. So I'm quite a Bugaboo fan, you yes. know, I'm going to make no bones about it. My very first pushchair, 14 and a half years ago, was um, a chameleon, which did me very, very well for two children. 
And then with my youngest, I've also, I've used the bee, but I've used the fox an awful lot. And yeah. it was the last push chair that she outgrew yeah. because the seat unit is so big. But yeah. we'll move on to the seat unit in just yeah, a moment. Yeah, good size seat unit. And same on the on the links. So Faye Marie Bilton mm -hmm. is loving the black. So you've got your black on black or you've got yeah. your black on the chrome. Yes, yeah, so we've only got two of the colour choices out. So like Joe said, you've got black on black, you've got black on the aluminium. And then you've also got uh, the grey melange, which, which comes on a black chassis. Laura Stroud is also loving the black. We've got what the was black. Your choose? I've got black on black in the store because mm. I just think I, I just love the black sleek, on black. Isn't it? And it's sleek, it's yeah. classy, it's timeless. Yeah, and no matter what um, sex you're having, obviously it's going to be perfect for both as well. If you use it more than one child, bumper bar is the same bumper bar from that you use when it's in seat mode as well. Um, and are just out of the way. Hood. Alice Primrose has commented before you even before you even demonstrated that she loves the extending hoods. Yeah, they are amazing. Huge, huge, so big. I mean, a lot of people have parasols, don't they, in the nicer weather to help protect baby a little bit more. But you don't need it. You There's really... nothing really that is going to get in there, is there? And I have to say that when I had my fox, which is the same size hood, mm. I rarely if at all, actually use my rain cover. I know she was child number three and- Didn't mind about wet feet or anything. No, yeah. no, but when it was in, in carry cot mode, all covered, and actually yeah. even in seat mode, she used to just put her feet up. Yeah. And I'm not a rain cover, I tend to leave my rain cover at home. A bit so, forgetful, Jen. A bit forgetful, but I do like the fact that then your children don't get wet. Yes, yeah, see, yeah, it's great. At all weathers, it's protecting against. It's protecting against sun. It's UPF rated, so it's protecting from the sun, wind, rain, like you say. Also has the breezy panel in the top. Oh. <coughs> no flabby fabrics, as Kirsty would say. No flabby fabrics, and I like the fact the Bugaboo logo is carried yeah, on. Yeah, it's when just you on the reverse, it isn't it? So you've got it on there if when it's that way. Flip it over and it's shown again on there. It's and then an, you've got you. It's nice and tidy, isn't it? Because yeah. sometimes when you open up the ventilation, you do have fabric it might be hanging little, down. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah. So they've done a right. good job there. Well done, Bugaboo. We like that. It's nice and tight in there. Um, it's a black mesh. I didn't realise, but they use a black mesh uh, because it makes it easier to see through and to see through a little one. That was a good fact of the day. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that. So then you can just pull that back over. If you don't want that, but it's good if you're using it um, on nicer days, you just want to let a bit more airflow through, you can do that. And it's two zips as well, so it doesn't matter which side you stood on, you can do it from either side. So Melissa Richmond is saying, can, <coughs> although obviously we've got very, very big hood, mm. can you get any parasols to go on this product? Yes, Boogaboo do do their own Boogaboo parasols. Boogaboo do do their parasols, but yeah. with a big hood like that, for lots of people, they're not going to need it, no, are they? No, you don't need it as an extra accessory, do you? Which is nice. L.R. Willis says that they love Bugaboo. Mm. Um, Natalie Mizzle says so practical the hood. Yeah, I love practical products. Absolutely love it. Um, it makes life easier, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Tracy Cowton has also said the extended hood is a must on her prams. Is that something that you think about at home when you're purchasing your pram? You know, or even your stroller, do you think about how far that hood's going to yeah. go down? And I think particularly when they're little, it works really well. Sometimes when they're an older toddler, they push push the yeah, hoods back, to it, but it's nice see. to have that flexibility, isn't yeah. it? Um, your handlebar <clears throat> is the same as just done, as you'll be familiar um, with on other Bugaboo push chairs. Just open the two clips at the side, and then you've got great extension. So really low um, for short parents or for children if they're having to push older siblings, and then really high. The height, the ray height range, I did write it down, just so people, because we often get asked we height do, handles, don't, don't we? we? Um, where did I write it? Jo Meekin, why you just have a look. So she judges push chairs by their rain cover. She doesn't like cheap feeling rain covers. Yeah. They, they don't feel cheap with no. Bugaboo. They do a very good job with their rain cover. 99 to 110 centimetres. So that's, that's quite, quite high, isn't it? Range, yeah. And then you can just find a position that is perfect for you and then close it back off again. Jo I'm five at six, so that's a bit, a bit high for me. Yeah, that, I think that'd be too high for me. Jolene says... Do they do matching bags? Yes, yeah. there are lots of look, bugaboo bags. Are absolutely lovely. They're really Good spacious. Size, aren't they? yeah. yeah, really accessible. You changing mat is, a, is as you would expect from bugaboo though. Good quality. quality yeah. um, and Maya, yes, we do sell all the accessories as well um, for the links or any of the other bugaboo range. Yep. So to remove your carry cart from the frame, it's memory buttons. Just press one side, press the other side in. 
and use your bumper bar as your handle to lift away. Now the carry cot isn't suitable for overnight sleeping with Bugaboo, um, just because of how it's designed. So you still need your miser's basket, whatever you're using. So just have somebody who has sleep. asked about the bumper bar on the carry cot. Is it gate opening? So can yes. we just show that? It's the same as the one on your seat unit. I'm a bit awkward holding it like this and trying that, to do it. Sorry, I actually do a really good <laughs> challenge there, don't you? Wait I? until I go up. Just while you're you trying to hold it. I will do it on the seat unit as well so you can see the same thing. So if this you. is one frame and two fabrics, it's the same bumper bars you're going to have on the seat unit and yeah. we will show that in um, in just a moment. Gemma Lily says oh, it's so simple. Yeah. Um, Gemma Stanley is jumping ahead of us. She said the basket looks big. Yes, you can yeah. fit a lot of shopping in there. That's why I've just taken it off so you can see it in all its glory. Um, it is a good sized basket that covers the hole underneath of the chassis and you do have little bits here as well to stop anything from Faye Marie built and says oh big basket too yeah. yes and Diana Knight has shared this morning so Diana this is a thank you to you thank for sharing you. we do appreciate it and um, you can lock your front wheels off as well so if we were talking about going uh, through parks and things or over rougher terrain gravel cobbles just lock those front wheels off with those two white buttons anything with white buttons on here does something uh, makes it easier to know um, and then you, you're going in a straight line it's stopping you from shaking about and it's often if you are in parkland and there's tree roots sticking up yeah. when your wheels hit them they spin so if you are having problems with uh, the links bugaboo links or any pushchair or stroll if you lock your front wheels that is just going to help you haven't got the maneuverability no but it is going to help you um sort of go through what's the word Rally through the through the mud. The straight line. Yes, go in the straight <laughs> line. Absolutely. Somebody's asked, can we put baguettes in that basket? Yes, a very yeah, baguette friendly basket. Yep. Got a little loop at the back, so that would hold it up, so you're not stepping on it. Break. Those, those of you who are wondering what we're going on about, we often talk about whether we can fit a baguette into a basket, just to show the size of it. And if we're in France or the UK, yeah. I'd rather be in France, I think, you can fit a baguette in there. Well, we so have baguettes nice. here too. We do, but they're not, they don't taste the same. No. They don't taste the same. A really spacious basket. Yeah. Break is really easy to do with one, um, one foot there, just press down and lift up again. Um, you can fold with or without your seat in it, so a two or a one piece fold with the links. Um, just while we've got the carry cut off, I'll show you how to fold it. So those of you who've just joined us while Kelly is showing us, today we are actually giving away a Bugaboo Lynx. All you need to do is join in with the chat this morning and we will be drawing the winner at the end. Is this something that will help you out? You know, it, would it be something that you're going to keep for yourself? If you, perhaps you've got a baby on the way or you've got a little one who could make great use of the Bugaboo mm. Lynx. Or would you gift it to a friend or family member? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, what a, just win your pushchair. What, yeah, and Real, what a pushchair push to win. Yeah. So put your handlebar into the lowest position. Obviously, I'm doing it like this because if you've got your carry cart on, so using it from birth, you'd, it'd be a two-piece fold. You can fold it with the carry cart on as well, but obviously it's a bit bigger. So squeeze your buttons and lift up. And it will then freestand. Oh, I thought I was not going to freestand then. It will freestand for you. Positivity. Positivity. Yeah. To get it back up, just lift up your wheels out. Handle up. And you're ready to go again. Keely Knight says if she wins, she's going to gift it to a friend. What oh, a nice. lucky friend would yeah. that be? Claire Farley, you shared this morning. Thank you very much. And she says, is it going to fit in a smaller car? Yeah. Yes, I think it, it is yeah. quite a compact fold. So we've put it in your car. Yep. So it's been in a Renault Zoe. Yep. So that's a, that's a compact car. Compact car. Yep. yep. Um, so yeah, it does fit in. And obviously you can take it down so you can take your rear wheels off to make it even smaller. Um, and they're and easy to take off. I mean, I think yeah. ideally you don't want to be doing it day in, day out, no. unless you have to. No. But it is possible. And yeah. it's not tricky, is it? No, not at all. So we always recommend that if you keep some shower caps in the boot of your car, not to put on your own head, but if you have been out and about and you've run over some of that really horrible dog poo, which is, you know, yep, unfortunately, is about, yep. is about Pop a shower cap on your wheel. You can then pop your wheel off and then you can take it outside and hose it off. And then you're not going to get any nasty bits in the boot of your car. That's a bad idea. Just because we're talking about using the links from birth, you can also use it as a travel system with your infant car seat. Um, these are the Maxi Cozy adapters and they're, it's kind of universal then. So it's for Be Safe, um, Cybex, Joy, 
Maxi Cozy, did I Did say? you say Maxi Cozy? Yeah. yeah. And obviously the and also the turtle, yeah. which we'll have a look at in just a moment. Well, I'm just going to get the adapters out. So it's the same adapters from the Fox, and it's also what the um, Buffalo used previously as well. So you get them out like this. You've got the same white buttons as you get to remove. So anything white on any bugaboo does something, yeah. isn't, doesn't it? So you want the curve, a slight curve coming to you. And then all you have to do, line up your car seat and click it. So we've got the Turtle Air in the grey melange here, but there are, you can get it in black, can't you? So if you want it all matching. Black. You can also get it in steel blue, steel which is blue, lovely. Yeah. yeah, so it's quite a popular colour for the fox for us, isn't it, the steel blue? So um, you can see that on there. You do have, so this is a nice size car seat. Um, they've taken some weight off it from the original Turtle, so it now weighs three kilos, so it's really nice and lightweight. I did write down the material that it's made out of. It's made out of Aerofex Flex Foam. So it's lightweight and resilient. So I do like this little bit on the front. Yes, so the just, smart visor. Yeah, it's just going to protect little one, obviously from the elements either in the car or if they're out and about. Or if you are famous, you've got the paparazzi <laughs> taking photographs paparazzi of your child. No, 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 no. You're going to cover them up. Yeah, this is a magnet. Up. So it just... Um, Clever magnet. Hold on with magnets at the side and then you can tuck it all away. I'm not going to do it properly because I'm going to put it back out in a minute. Um, but it tucks away inside here. So it's, actually, I want to tuck it out of the way so I can see, show you inside. So this is the turtle, the Bugaboo Turtle Air car yeah. seat. It's by Nuna um, and it will fit on the whole of your Bugaboo range. We've got it here on the links because today we're going through the links you've got the opportunity to win a Lynx yeah. as well. So if we look at the inside of the car seat, yeah. I, I wish people at home could touch and feel it because it does look and feel really comfortable, yeah. doesn't it? So the newborn insert is made from merino wool, so it's beautiful and soft and again aids um, the temperature of baby, keeping them nice and cool and wicking those um, that dampness away. Moisture. Sweaty, sweaty babies. Sweaty babies. Nobody In orders a sweaty seat. baby, but sometimes uh, babies are a little bit they sweaty. Are, yeah. Three point harness, which you can release just by popping your finger in there and releasing your harness, and then your headrest stays in position and just moves up and down to allow for an older child. You can use it from birth up to 80, I can't remember what it is, up to 83 centimetres. So it should last you till about 15 months old. So we've got a question to... about, are the straps um, on the car seat, how are the straps on the car seat? Can you extend them? Yes. Yeah, you've got three-point harness. Press in here, so you've got a little arrow to show you. Press inside, you'll find the button, and extend your straps right out. So, so you've got covers on here that match your newborn inset, and then once baby gets to, it's usually 60 centimetres, which is roughly three to four months old. You can take this new burn insert out. I'm just going to take all this out. So now we can see and imagine an older child yeah. in it. You can now see it's a much bigger seat, nice and roomy, headrest moved up into the higher position for, say, a 15-month-old child. We did have a comment um, from somebody, and I can't find the comment now, but so apologies, I'm not going to be able to put your name to it. Um, asking whether the straps are long enough for that older child. We've not had any, she'd heard that the straps were a little bit short. We've not had any problems, we've not had any complaints, we've not had any children who've not fitted in it who actually I mean, physical fit in the seat. If there's a child in there, they're not going to stick over the top of the seat, are they? No, they're not. So, but often people don't do the straps up tight enough, and no. I think that is where people say, oh, are the straps uh, 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 long, long enough? enough. So how tight, when we're in the car, should we have our straps? Very tight. Very tight. I knew the answer to that. So I I to a rhetorical <laughs> question. So you just be able to put your uh, two fingers underneath the harness um, pads, and but not be able to turn them. Should be tight enough. And the thing to remember is for your car seat is your car seat's for your car. You push chairs for pushing, but there are those times, aren't there, when it's convenient to be able to put it on the chassis of your pushchair. If you're just nipping in to pick up some bread, yeah. picking milk, quick doctor's appointment and things School like runs. that. School runs. School runs, yep. Yeah. You could just pop it onto your chassis. Baby's still asleep because you've had a really enough for a rough night. You don't want to disturb them. <laughs> I know Leave that Leave them all tucked up <laughs> and you're ready to go. Yeah, but just bear in mind that from 
up to about six weeks old, newborn babies shouldn't be left in their car seat for longer than the half an hour time frame that we advise. Yeah, so, and also we'd say the, the sooner you can almost get used to lifting baby out of their car seat into the carry cot, they're going to get used to it, aren't yeah, they? they do, they'll get used to that movement. Um, if you didn't notice, I did just press these two buttons at the same time and then lift up with a handle to remove it from your chassis as well. So this is the Turtle Air. Um, it was not included in our price today, um, but it is an awesome car seat. So it if is. you are looking for the room, it's definitely worth considering. £179, you can belt it in, or you can also um, get the Isofix base, the new Turtle Air Isofix base, which has little wings that pop out. Yeah, so the it's side impact protection. I'll go like this. It's like a little little wings that yeah, come out the side on it, isn't it? Removing your adapters is really easy. Just press in and lift away. So Jamie East is asking what colours the car seat comes in. So it comes in the grey melange, which is the one that we've got out today. Yep. It also comes in black and it also comes in what we, it's called steel blue, which is a really, uh, it's a very... It's not blue blue, is it? It's not. It's like an in-between. Like a steel blue, maybe. Oh, maybe <laughs> we've, got, it's known from. we've got the Fox in store, Fox 2 in store with steel blue, and it's really blue, isn't it? Is, it? Yeah. A lot of people buy it because they're in the store, don't they? They do, they do. So we've had a look at the Lynx, which is the brand new member of the Boogaboo family. We've had a look at it um, in carry cot mode. Now your carry cot you're going to use for the first six months. It's yep. tested to nine kilograms. But generally, baby is going to outgrow your carry cot before they get to that nine kilograms. Very few six months olds are nine kilograms. But your seat unit is suitable from Six, six months, months yeah, it? it's a bucket seat. So if you see inside, it's not a lay flat seat unit. It is shaped already for baby's bum. So you don't want a newborn um, baby going in that seat because they will just slump down and it won't be a lay flat position for them even when reclined. So um, from six months-ish, when they can kind of start sitting and they've got more head support, can then go into the seat up to 22 kilos. So it's a good weight range for it to last got the same bumper bar and the same hood and your same frame you've just switched the fabrics over so you take all these fabrics off your carry cart and pop your seat unit fabrics on and it's not that tricky is it i know a lot of people no. think oh goodness me is it you know is it going to be really tricky but one of the big positives is that once baby gets to six months you're only storing the carry cot fabrics yeah, you're not, not storing lots and lots and lots of things no, it doesn't take up much space you pop that in a bag and then it's safe if you want to use it for another baby or if you're selling on and you're only going to be able to have to do it that one time again unless you need to carry cut again but you just need to do it that one time at six months and then you're ready to use your seat unit i'm just going to switch the seat unit round so again memory buttons press those in at either side and you can pull it round click at each side You've got your recline positions on here is with your white circles. So you can press those to recline if you've got a napping baby. And we have got this amazing hood again, which pulls right down. So it, even when they're reclined, it's offering loads of coverage. It is quite unique in the industry, that size hood. I yeah, mean, there's yeah. a few others, a few other brands that offer a big hood, but that's huge. That is huge. Yeah. And also, you it, it, like physically almost couldn't get any bigger. No, no, because it would pop over child's legs and it would, yeah. yeah. But it, it is really, really weatherproof. And I think as a parent, to me, that's material. really important. Yeah. And as I said earlier, I rarely used my rain cover because my daughter was so covered by a bugaboo hood. Mm. Yeah, it is good. Um, while we've got the seat facing this way, I am going to show you a, a fantastic little trick um, that Boogaboo have on their Fox and their Lynx push chairs as well. A trick? A little trick. A little trick? A little you trick. are... I'm not kidding you. It's a little <gasps> trick. Well, I've just called you Paul Daniels or I can't really think <laughs> of any other magicians, but... So, if you... They call it sand and snow mode. So basically, if you are going over rough terrain, you're at the beach, you've seen people trying to drag or push their strollers oh, or push chairs on the beach. It's a nightmare. No push chair is great at the beach, no. Though. No. So um, if you're doing that, or if it's in snow and you're trying to get through um, bad weather, then this is a great feature. So all you do, as if you were folding, press your buttons, kick your back wheels in. And drag it behind and you. And drag it behind you. Doesn't work as well going forwards because you need to drag it against your wheels. Twist, but, twist round. Yeah, um, but yeah, you can. I'm running out of space. I'll just move this way so you can see and imagine me on the beach. You should always have your hand in the provided strap so you don't drop baby, and do them when they're facing you 
so that if you do drop them, you drop them on the feet, not on the head. Yeah, yeah, definitely. In fact, just don't draw baby. Feet or head, just don't, don't yeah, do try it. Try not to. Try not to. But I think that is, I mean, I don't think it's something you're going to use all the time. No. But if you are going to the beach, it's good to have that option. And then back into four wheel mode, really easy. So yeah, it is, it is clever. So let me just turn the seat unit round again. So we're using the white buttons again because yep. anything Memory. white on a bugaboo does something. Yeah. So white again for your recline. Inside you've got a five point harness and it is spring loaded. So it's nice that this holds out the way all the parts of it so that you're not going to sit baby straight onto the straps. It kind of lifts it up. You've got an adjustable height by just pulling up and down just to show you the highest and lowest position so you've not got to re-thread anything because that is fiddly often. Yeah, and it is, it, it's just simplicity, isn't it? Mm. Uh, you know, one day, it's a hot day, little ones in their shorts and T-shirt. The next day, in usual UK weather, there's a snowstorm yeah. and they're in their snowsuit. Yeah. So at least you can change that if you need to. Yeah, absolutely. Or if an older sibling is hitching a ride, you can change it quickly. <laughs> Karen Bowles has joined us this morning. Good morning, Karen. And she says the wheel feature makes me want to go to the beach all the time just to show it <laughs> just off. Just for that. What yeah. a great excuse to go to the beach every Absolutely. day. I like it. Yeah. It would be good in the snow, though, as well. Yeah. If you're struggling in the snow, again. You would struggle, wouldn't you? If it's, yeah. If it's deep, we, do, we only get it a couple of times a year, don't we? But if yeah. it's deep snow, then you've got that. Swivel bumper bar again. I know we talked about in the carry cot, but it's the same one. Works in the same way and it's covered with your leatherette, same as on your handlebar as well, and it's black. And Laura white. Jane's got a good question this morning. What is the weight limit? So we've done the carry cot. Carry cot weight limit is nine kilograms, but once we move into the seat unit... Six months-ish, up to 22 kilos. So that's really so going... Old, if 18 kilos is your average four-year-old, yeah, you're not they've really just chair for much longer than that, are you? No, you're more likely to outgrow it size-wise rather than weight-wise. Weight yeah. And they do have nice big seats, but they do. Yeah, you can see there, right up into the hood is a nice, um, nice size seat unit. So Claire Farley said, "How quickly can you get this delivered?" Well, Claire, we have them in stock, so they can yeah. be with you tomorrow. <laughs> yes, it's pretty quick. That quick, unless yeah. you're local, and then as soon as Actually, you can get here, yeah. and then you can pick it up at ten past twelve. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, it, um, those of you who have just joined us today, we are looking at the Bugaboo links and we have one to give away. Our winner will be able to choose whichever colour they like. We're feeling generous. We're, we're, we're just going to do one, but... Yeah, we're feeling we're generous. We're which one would you one. choose? I think I'd go grey melange. I see. I'm not a massive black push. I usually I go know. for a little bit of colour. I do, but I think the black black it does is look, stunning. Yeah, it does look beautiful. I really yeah. do. I can just imagine myself wandering through the town. Oh yes. <laughs> With this, I just, I just, I'm normally not a black black. No. I normally would go for an alternative oh, colour, but I do think with the black wheels, it does look stunning mm. black black. Yeah. So tell us at home, what colour would you go, uh, go for? So, Jolene said, can you fold with the seat on? You can. I'm going to do that next. Now we're talking about seat unit. So, exactly the same way. You're just going to make sure that the, sh uh, the seat light is in line with your um, frame of your chassis. So, if you've got it reclined slightly, just sit it up so it's all in line. Handlebar into the lowest position. Easy with your brake. Drop that down. Wheels in. So it's not small with your seat unit on, but if you were in a cafe, meeting friends, don't want your push chair stood in the way and taking up the room in the aisle, just quickly pop it up together and it's all done together. And you can obviously take your bumper bar off, which is going yep. to make it a bit flatter, and you yep. can flip it over, presumably, to put in your boot, which again is going to flatten it out a little bit. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And if you've got a bigger boot, then it's not going to be an issue anyway. You can stand it or just lay it down in there. So do you take your seat unit off for push chairs? You or? know I'm lazy, Jo. I know, I am lazy. See? Uh, yeah, but maybe you're lazy but strong. I am, yeah. Because they're always heavier with the seat unit. That's not very good, good um, qualities to have, is it? What, I'm lazy, lazy but and strong? strong. <laughs> <laughs> I am not lazy but weak. <laughs> okay? I always take my seat unit off. I know you do, yeah. I, yeah. But we've got quite a big car, so, well, one of the cars is really big and one of the cars say, is really yeah, small. We go from one end now. of to the spectrum. So I suppose if I was in my teeny tiny car, yeah. I'd leave the seat unit on, possibly. 
But if I'm in my big car, I put my seat unit in. Just fit. And then my chassis. Yeah, it does. Just fit. It does fit. But yeah, it is. Um, it is. You can. It's adaptable. So if you've got a small space, you can take it right down. If you've got the room and you can lift it up. But for me. That's not But you're heavy, strong. But we've, already strong. we've already established that, Kelly. You are but strong. 9.4 kilos if you're lifting it total like this. That's not bad, is it? So, no. No, it's not bad at all. So we've got lots of people saying which colours um, they like. Mari McKenzie says she loves the black. She thinks it's easy to polish and keep clean. Faye, however, would go grey. Or black yeah. with the black so frame. So she'd match me then. She might match you. Yeah. Jane Brocklesby says she loves um, the black. Um, we did have a question about do the fabrics fade? No, we've not had any problems with Bugaboo fabrics fading. They're just really good quality, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, they are. So, um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry, I, I just saw a question there. Um, Amanda Christie says, what about the adjustable ha handle height? Sorry if you've covered it. Don't worry, Amanda, so we'll I'm cover it again. Go. So you might be familiar with it with Bugaboo. You've got two cla uh, claps. I was going to say clasps or clips. Claps. Um, open those up either side and then you can just slide up and down. goes from 99 to 110 centimetres. So it's going to be a good height for whoever's pushing. Sam Hale would love to win a Lynx all black. Well, Sam, you're passing comments, so you're already you're entered. entered into the draw. Um, Maya Dovda says, do we have still blue on display? Now, they don't do still blue for the links, but they no. do do it for the Fox, which we do have in store. Yeah. And you can get the car seat in the steel blue if you like the steel blue. And the other thing to bear in mind, that if you want to mix and match, <coughs> once you've got your car seat on your chassis, you can't see your fabrics of your carry cot anyway. So you no. can actually so have you, any you colour. Have, yeah, you could completely mix it up and have different for your carry cot, uh, sorry, for your links and you put your car seat. So, what about the wheels? Shall we have a quick look at the wheels? Yep. I do love the finish on the Lynx wheels. I love the shininess the of yeah, the it's black. Yeah, different, isn't it? Yeah, it is a lot different. A yeah. lot different. Very different is what yeah. I meant to say. It kind of highlights it as they roll, doesn't it? Because they've got that shine to them. As they rock and roll. As they go. It's lovely. And like we said, you can remove those really nice and easily with one button as well as your front wheels as well. So somebody has asked about the suspension. Does it have um, any suspension? Yes, it has lots of suspension. Two wheel suspension. So you've got four wheel on your Fox. So if you want a, a true all-terrain push chair, maybe the Fox would handle things a little bit better. But you've got two wheel suspension. That's and got you, four. And that's good. It's got you two. can actually see the suspension. I don't know whether our cameraman can scrattle around on the floor here. <laughs> Uh, that's it. Good cameraman. Well done, cameraman. <laughs> Get down there. <laughs> Get down there and film the suspension because we've just been talking about it. So as you can see, the suspension there. So any more questions? Um, we've got a question from Lucy about the seat fabrics and yeah. how easy are they to wash? There, so you would advise that you um, just soapy water and cloth sponge them, but you can take, they do completely all come away from the um, chassis as well. So if you did want to clean them, you can put them up in the washing machine as well at 30. And Tracy Cowton says, does it come with a changing bag included? No. no. So the Lynx is £795 RRP, um, and that comes with your, chassis, your seat frame, caricot fabrics and seat fabrics. That's everything that comes with. Forget, no, you've forgotten one thing. Your rain cover. Rain covers. Your rain cover. Sorry. Have we got a rain cover here today? No. I think it's the one in the carry cot. Oh, yeah, there is. I thought so. so I love a the, rain cover bag. I love the pocket that it comes in to yeah. keep it nice and tidy. Well, we've talked about rain covers, so we might as well get it out. We? So it's far more substantial, shall we say, than your usual rain cover, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. And it's a bit different as well because... We get a lot of questions, people that have been into store or just send us a message. And they've bought a, a push chair and they can't figure out how to use the rain cover. Because usually, if it's all this material, you don't know which way it goes. No. But because this has your coloured section for the bits that obviously goes over, not the, the block in the view of the child. So you can extend that out. Pop that over. It's all elasticated on the edges. So hold it nicely in position. And it does smell lovely. I know what I said the other day. <laughs> we were talking about this the other day when we smell of rain covers. 
if you, smell nice. If you have got a push chair on order, when you get your rain cover out, do smell it because they do smell they lovely. They do smell good, yeah. So that's it. You can see how easy uh, the cameraman's having a sniff as well. He, he agrees. He likes the smell. We, we of got the rain a thumbs cover. up. We got a thumbs up there. Um, Corrie Carrington says she loves the rain cover. It is a very good yeah. rain cover. Very soft. And it? I think seven nine five is a really good price good for price. this product. I think yeah. you're getting a lot of push share for your money. Yeah. So like we, I know we discussed it in the live where we compared the two, the Fox Two and the Lynx. Your Fox 2 is 995 and this is 795. So if you don't need everything that the Fox can do and, and want it on a bit of a smaller scale, 200 pounds difference is a great saving. That is and a you're lot, still getting an isn't it? Yeah. You know, that, that is more than the cost of your car seat. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm, so you basically could get your car seat for, for free for the difference. So, um, you got Amanda your Christie says she's adopting a one-year-old. Congratulations, oh, Amanda. She says, thing. can you get the push chair without the carry cot? No. No. <laughs> no, it comes as a full bundle. But obviously, if you don't need to use the carry cot, you know, it, you're just going to have to pack that away. But because it is one frame, two lots of fabrics, you haven't got a lot to store. So it's not like some that you would buy where you've got a massive carry cot to yeah, store. Yeah, which would kind of would be a bit of a waste, a massive carry cot stored away somewhere and taking up space if you're not ever using it. Laura Stroud says that the rain cover is easy to fit on. Yep. Yeah, really easy because of this elastication and the fact that you know which way it's going to go. Pull your hood out, pop it over, you've got your aeration in the side so that um, baby's got airflow as well. Just tucks under the bottom. Yeah, but on a flip Maybe. side, this is easier. Uh, I, I did see that you pre-did your zip there. I so did pre-do my zip, but, you know, but, you know, little one is very covered from the rain mm -hmm. as well. So if it's a quick nip, you've got to just dash into that shop, the hood's going to do an awesome job. Yeah. But if you're walking a little bit further, you might need your rain cover. I get it, yeah. you might need your rain cover. Yeah. Yeah, so the fact that you've got it there on your fox is, um, is ideal for that, isn't it? It's good for the British weather. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. So, any more questions? Have we covered everything? So, um, Ellie says, how do you switch from carry cot to seat? I'm not going to do it. <laughs> oh! I did this when we was out of filming in the middle of the woods, so I had nothing to put anything down on, and I'm trying to change the fabrics over, and Jose stood waiting for me like, come on. Jose's the cameraman, by the way, not just it a random passerby. It doesn't take too long, and if you read your instructions or watch a YouTube video, which is what I did in the end, which made it a lot easier, you just go through the motions and do it all, but the fact that I've not done it before, I just had to take some time to do it. But it's not a quick You're not. You, it's no. not as easy as taking a carry cart off and putting a seat unit on. It just takes a little bit of time, switch it over, and then it's done. Yeah, I think it's, it's not tricky once you know how to do it. It's like no. everything, isn't it? Yeah. But bear in mind... Well, I have to do two. So once I've done the first one and then I had to do the second one, it's a lot easier. Yeah, you see, you, you become practised. But bear in mind, you're only going to do that once because you're not going to go one day I'm using the carry cart, one day I'm using the seat unit. No. So you're going to move, you take your carry cot fabrics off, pop your seat fabrics on, and then you might pop your carry cot back on if you have another baby. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then so, you're just doing the reverse again. Um, Georgie Austin says, my Frenchie would fit perfect underneath in the basket when they get tired. <laughs> Can you imagine a little, little screwed up face sticking out under there? And Zoe Willis says, can she ask what the straps are for? So I think she's referring to the straps on the handlebar. Yep. So um, I don't know if you saw, but when we did in two-wheel mode, or even if you're just pushing along, this is just a bit of a, a safety feature. So um, there have been reports of like people on the tube um, let go of their push chair and it's been blown. Like It's a freak accident, isn't it? But it yeah. can happen. Yeah. Or you could be stood chatting to somebody and your push chair gently rolls away. At least if you've got your hand in there... It's, it's stopping any eventuality like that, isn't Yeah, it? and it's funny, because the chameleon was my first push chair that I had, yeah. um, you know, I just got used to using it, and then if I don't have it, I, I, I look, actually like miss it. it. Yeah. If you're going down a steep hill as well, if anybody's been down a steep hill with a pram, yeah. you, do, you do worry about your push chair running away from you. Yeah. So it does just give you that bit, bit of mind. extra security. And if you are doing two-wheel mode, obviously all the weight is in your hand. It's not, you, you're taking the balance. So if you drop the handle, there's nothing stopping it. So at least having that on there, if anything happened, you, you lost a bit of grip. 
you've yeah. got hold of it. So and I have to say, that. when I had two children, so I was using my chameleon for my second child, <clears throat> my older toddler used to hold on to it, because it was a little bit longer on the chameleon, he used to hold on to it almost like a toddler strap. So I trained yeah. him, you see, to hold yeah. on to it. It's a good idea. A third use for it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Tracy says, does the rain cover fold away as compact um, because some are awful to fold back away? You're going to test me now, aren't we you? We are going How, to test uh, you. I love a challenging I question. Everybody it. at home, if you've got any more challenging Watch Kelly questions. Watch not be able to get it back in its bag. While she folds it, please share. Please share so we can all join in with the fun. It, it's not bad, is it? But while she's doing that, today we are giving it's away an here. amazing Bugaboo links. All you need to do today is to join in with the chat. If you have shared, thank you very, very much. We really, really do appreciate. You're getting lots of laughing. Lots of thumbs up, um, but look at that. You've done it, Kelly. Top of the it's class. It's maybe not quite as flat as it was, but it's in there and it's got plenty of room. Yeah. And it's all secure. It's not getting dirty. My no. rain covers often get a bit dirty in my car, but... I think you did an awesome job there. Thank you. I like the fact it comes with a pocket that, that you can fold it back it's into. Just it's just simple, isn't it? Because if you're taking it out, it's not just them flapping about and... And filling your basket. Yeah. And then you can't do much shopping. No which you need to do. You need to do. You definitely need to do much shopping. I mean, the basket on the bugaboos are, are massive, so you yeah, can do Yeah, so you can do see the difference there. I know we've not really talked about the fox um, being there because it is more about the links, but it's just so you can see there slightly. Sits slightly higher on the chassis. Basket is slightly bigger. Your recline position is in a different um, place rather than your white buttons on your links. You've got it on the back of the seat, but the hood is the same um and the seat size is pretty much the same too. yeah so we just brought the fox out just so that you could see they they're small differences but different things are going to suit different people aren't they yeah, yeah. very very similar just the odd the odd change and if you it, like one you're probably gonna like the other yeah and um, lots of people love bugaboo so those people at home have you heard of bugaboo before today is it a brand that, um, you know, what do you think of the brand Bugaboo? Because we'd love to know what you think. I think it's very popular in store, isn't it? Customers yeah. do, you know, they do like it. We've got the donkey as well. We do. And your donkey will go from a single uh, to a side-by-side uh, -side double. So on the donkey, you can have either a baby and an older child, two toddlers or two babies. So you can use it for twins. Twins, yeah. The so duo, the mono, duo or twin, you can buy them. And then we've also got the ant, which is... Opposite. The opposite, so the ant is the smallest one, which is a teeny tiny pushchair, which I think you may have seen on our lives before. And then sort of one up from that is the chameleon. So we start with the ant, teeny tiny. Yep. Um, sorry, I've missed out the B. Then well, the B6. Then the B6, yeah. Then the chameleon, if we're yep. going si size wise. Um, then and your lynx, lynx, then your fox, and then your donkey. Yeah. And you can get accessories, loads and loads of accessories to go with They them. are now starting to do um, new bundles, which are quite exciting. We've not, they're not launched just yet, but they will be coming. Yeah, and anything that we have, we can put in a bundle for you anyway. So we've shown it here with the turtle. Turtle air. The turtle air. Sorry, I've just covered it You've up. You've just like dumped all the bits and pieces <laughs> in it. Know. I'll just dump them back in here. Yeah. Oh, didn't do that very well, did I? You can tell we're live. Yeah. Um, but we've shown it here with the Turtle Air, um, which is the Bugaboo car seat. Um, but you can put it with other car seats, but lots of our customers do go for the Turtle Air, don't they? Lots of people like to be matching, don't they? They either, do. Either brand-wise or um, colour-wise, which obviously doesn't really matter because you're never going to have one together. But So Jo Meekin says she loves Bugaboo. She's had a gecko. Yeah. That's going back a few that years, is, isn't yeah. it? it is. um, and then there was also a frog. Yep. So we've had, they're all named after animals, as you can see. Um, but Joe had a gecko, a chameleon, and a bee in the past with, with her, big kids, her big kids. Oh, yeah, so she's had quite a few. Andrea then. Kemp says she's heard of Bugaboo, seen them around, never used them before, but definitely looking like a winner for baby number two. Andrea, what Whoa. did you have for baby number one? We'd love to know. Um, Natalie Mizzle, uh, yes, of course I've heard of Bugaboo. <laughs> Amazing she's a brand. Pushed Amazing push chairs. Yes, if you join us for our lives regularly, I'm sure you've heard of Bugaboo. Helen Marie Shields, I love the twin Bugaboo, so that's the donkey. Yeah. And how you can have a pink and a blue hoods and aprons yeah, and you, you can mix and match. Well. That's another difference between um, the Fox 2 and the Lynx. Lynx 3 is just your three colours, whereas um, your Fox 2 is a bit more customisable, more colours, more collaborations and things they do with it. 
Um, Alicia Thomas says she's hoping that she wins. So fingers crossed for you, um, Alicia. She said it would be amazing. Jane Brocklesby says good info as usual. Great. With that, we try, we try, we try. Vicky Thomas Asma says she's had um, a donkey and a bee, and now she's back to a donkey. Oh, bit of a difference between a donkey and a bee. There is a massive difference. Perhaps one was for more, maybe one was a bit more travelling. Who knows? Let us know um, why. Sarah says she loves the accessories like the foot muffs and the liners across the range. You often see a lot of people, even if they've moved on to a different push chair or trying a different pushchair, or they've got multiple pushchairs, they'll still use their bugaboo foot muffs yeah. on their other pushchairs. Because yeah. they're such a good size, lovely and padded, keep them nice and warm, and they fit nice they in the seats, don't they? They are amazing, the bugaboo mm. foot muffs, aren't they? Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Um, Gemma Rogers says she's heard of bugaboo, she's heard of the one for twins, so that is the donkey. Yep. Um, so, yeah. So, shall we draw our winner? Shall we Let's draw try. our winner? Who wants to We've win? We've been in weeks for this. To they tell have. You to do this we live did today. say we did say on our live that we have a push chair a week to give away for the next six weeks, and actually, I think we've now extended to seven weeks. Wow, that's good. So time. I think yeah, we have. Are we going got... to tell them about next week? No. Okay. No, that, that wasn't me being mean. Okay, <laughs> guys, that was Joe that didn't want to tell you. No, we can't tell you about next right, week. I've got to join in next right, week. Then. Go on then, you can. Next week, carrying on with the Bugaboo theme, we will also be giving away a Bugaboo Fox 2. <laughs> I know, it's so exciting. <laughs> and so that, I think, will be next Wednesday. Yeah, we have got two pushchairs to give away next week, so we're not going to tell you what the other pushchair is. The other one will be a surprise, just because we're talking about Bugaboo. Yeah, no. I we'll... just thought it'd be nice just to tell them. Yes, yeah, so if you love Bugaboo, get that in your diary. Half past 11 on next Wednesday, we're going to be telling you all about the fox. I'm stroking the fox because this was my we, push chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, not this one, no, but I've no. had a fox. So. We've covered it slightly, but obviously we'll go into more detail and show you everything that it can do. And let, we'll, we'll have the links back with us so we can still have it on, on the compare side it. just to compare yeah. and contrast there. Yeah. So, yes, amazing, amazing, amazing. So... All you need to have done is to pass a comment. We've got a lot. Look at these hearts. Look. Oh, is it for us? Or is it, I is think it for us or is it for the bugaboo? <laughs> <laughs> or the links? Yeah, I just meant because we were just told them about the fox too. So, yes, um, Rob Mitchell says, would love to win this. What an amazing prize. Wow, two great uh, prizes. Yeah. Are, they are amazing prizes. Kat Ferguson says, the winner will not be disappointed at all. What colour are they going to go for? We'll just run through the colours to let us know what you would choose and then we're going to draw our winner. So with the links, what colour choices do we have, Kelly? So we've got two of the colour choices out. We've got your um, black on your aluminium chassis. We've got your black on your black chassis. But then you can also get grey melange, which is the same as this car seat, but on a black chassis. So you can see the two colours together. So that's your choice. But we'll give the, the winner doesn't have to tell us straight away. They and if you change your mind, time. it's fine. <laughs> It's, it's absolutely fine. You can have a look at some pictures and, and see what you would do. Oh, Kat Ferguson says she wishes we'd open a store in Northern Ireland. Aww. Yeah, we could do that one day. I think that's a good idea. We're getting a thumbs up from William there. Yeah, no, I think I think that's a good idea. I think we probably ought to go on a bit of a road trip and suss it out yeah. first. That's quite you know, yep. a few weeks away. I think we could do that. Yeah. We could go live. We, we talked about this, about going live from around the country. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think we just have been so a little bit... we'll go to another country. We're a little bit stuck in inside for so long. Yeah. So, right, we're going to draw our winner. The way that we draw our winner every day on our lives, because we give something away every time we go live, is I'm just going to scroll up and down, and Kelly is going to shout stop. Pressure today. And literally, the person that is in the middle of the screen is going to be the winner. So it's that easy. So all your yeah. comments are entered. So I'm going to start scrolling. Before I do... Trisha says she's going to be jumping for joy. I hope you're all going to be jumping for joy. This is so exciting. Look, 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 look at all these hearts and thumbs up. I feel a bit nervous. Why? Pressure. Well, it's an amazing prize and to pick a person. You're going to make somebody know, really, yeah. really happy yeah. and then everybody else really, really disappointed. <laughs> that, they're the people that I'm more bothered about. Yeah. Sorry. So it's Sorry. all Kelly's fault. All losers. It's all Kelly's <laughs> fault. So, um, oh, Tammy, before I do it, glad you've carried on doing the lives now you've opened the store. 
living so far away i've really enjoyed you showing off all the products yes oh, thank you. we are carrying on with our mm. lives last week was just a little bit harder because it was the first week opening back up it's kind of just getting used to having people back in store and and somebody had a week's holiday <laughs> obviously they can't do it without me so i've had hassle since i came back on sunday about not being here for lives that's apparently all my fault to get all your fault kelly absolutely all your fault <laughs> But Tammy, don't worry, we do ship throughout the UK. So hopefully we've helped you, um, even if you can't come into store. So, right, I'm a scrolling. I'm going up and down. I'm just doing it randomly. I'm not even looking. Stop. Dun, dun, dun. Who could it be? So. Congratulations to... To congratulations to... Christy... Kirsty. Oh, somebody got really excited called Christy then. Kirsty Blondie Boutaz. What's so, congratulations. Just get in touch with us. Sorry, I'm just um, writing congratulations. Can't talk and write at the same time, obviously. Get in touch with us. Remember, we ship anywhere um, in the UK. So get in touch with us. This could be winging its way to you tomorrow if you get in touch with us before five o'clock. Yeah. Um, we just Kirsty. need your name, uh, shipping address, email address, and telephone number for the courier as well. And obviously, which colour are you going to go for? <gasps> I think I'm going to go black, black. Yeah, is that what you're going for? Yeah, I'm just seeing whether she is still here. Hopefully she is still here. We've got lots and lots of hearts. We've got some amazing things. As we said, next Wednesday, we are giving away a Bugaboo Fox 2. Must get the two in a bugaboo yeah. fox too. So again, an absolutely awesome price. So make sure you join us 11:30 yeah. um, next Wednesday for that. But join us at 11:30 because we're doing lots of lots of amazing yeah. giveaways. Yeah, yeah. two push lots, chairs. Lots booked in. Yeah, we've got two push chairs to give away next week. So that's a yeah. total of seven push chairs already booked in. So we will see you uh, tomorrow round about 11:30. Have an awesome Wednesday, everybody. Thank Best you very much. Day. Yeah, thank you very much for joining us. If you're popping into store, um, make sure you've booked an appointment. If you can't get an appointment, give us a buzz. We will do our very, very best to squeeze you in if we've got some extra members of staff and we'll just pull them out of the office. So do get in touch. If you've got any questions about the Bugaboo links, any of the Bugaboo range or Anything pushchair, car seat, nursery furniture, baby carrier. I don't carrier. say anything. Like, anything, anything, anything. Ask us anything. Anything, you know, what to have for tea or anything. But do get in touch. We are all here to help. So enjoy the rest of the Wednesday, everybody. Stay safe and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.